Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. I seem to be suffering a bit of lag again. Never mind. We'll see if we can sort that out a bit as well. As what I was doing at the end of the last episode, where I was stuck with the autocrafting which seemed to be breaking. And I think I've figured out what that is. I think it's actually power. Because I was using the network tool. I'll show you what I'm looking at. Let's do that first of all. And I was right clicking the network tool under these items here. I could see my hand, of course. And this power was jumping up and down. And the max power was also jumping up and down here. What it did, let's go and do it again. As I put down three, the first thing I did is I wanted to check whether it was being caused by this. Whether there were too many items down here. So what I did, I just, just basically turned, put a toggle bus in here and turned everything off. And then if you look at this here, uh, with the network tool it's got power uh, and it's stored power which is probably going down because it should be used but upstairs if we're going to do the same thing over here doesn't matter where we click on see there's no power here at all oh yes there is there's energy generated and you're being used but there's nothing being stored and there's no power being used that's weird actually so I figured out, maybe with power, so I had in this chest here three, well no I didn't, I have them in this chest because I moved the thing around, three of these, um, so they're called, energy cells from uh, Applied Energy Sticks 2. So I just put them down here like this, and you, as you can see they've got no power in them anymore because they've been discharged, because I turned this off. If I turn it back on again, these will get power and the whole system will run smoothly. So what I was planning to do is, before it said it was using 900, so that would mean I would need a another couple of these, because that's doing 600, so 1,000 would probably cover it for the time being. It's probably better to make 1,200, so I was going to make some more of these cells. So let's do that first of all. So, um, energy cell. I think I've got it select it somewhere about there we go so what I would like to know is to make a dense energy cell to make one of those we need an engine processor or calculation processor plus some energy cells and we've got three downstairs I was wondering if we could actually make five of these things so we can make definitely oops that was one two three four should put that in the middle there. then we should be able to make five right we've got five of those now so we can go downstairs to collect the other two the other three and see if we can fix this up as a as a dense one and i think a dense one will probably hold at least eight times this and it doesn't take up so much space either where's the other one gone to yeah there's a funny one this one it doesn't quite hold all the power don't ask me why it seems as though it's a bit broken anyway if i put it in dense if it works i can put it into a dense energy cell and we can then use it that way so this is the recipe we want let's see if this works huh and one engineering pro calculation process so we got one of those and for some reason or other that didn't oh I've got something wrong running here no what's that's wrong with this one calculation processor why can't I take that I'll tell you what we'll do Let's take everything out of here. Clear that off. Can we take it? No, we can't take it. It's probably because of the power, actually. Well, better. Um, okay, I'll have to I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll quickly toggle the toggle bus off because that should allow us to. Where's it gone to? That should give us enough power to do any crafting up there that we need to. So anyway, I thought it was a good a good tip for anybody who's got the same problem. See? Look at that. So let's have a look. Let's try if we can do this again. And sure enough, we've got a dense energy cell now. And the dense energy cell will hold so we'll look how much it holds. Ah, uh, she's hundred and no, hundred yeah, one point six million AE. 
So that should be fine for the time being. It won't be, and that just seems like it's eight times as much. So if we put this down here, and that freaky one is, will be fixed as well. Let's put it, oops, try again. Select it with a thing, of course. There, that'll do. And then turn this back on again. And then we should be able to take these out as well, which we can still now. Good. So the next thing we can do is we make some more tungsten plating. It fixed the tungsten plating, so let's have a look at that again. I've got one of those, and I want to craft another one. That's because we need 98 of these. I'm only going to do one at a time because we get this sort of problem here. So it says missing lead. So we've got 1152, which is what we need, and 228 missing. So what I was thinking about doing is I would like to do another technique for doing this. So using the caches downstairs to store stuff. So it has a good store of lead. So let's first of all make some uh, import export buses. Let's craft about eight of these if I can. I'm missing some fluix dust, which I can't craft. So um, I could probably make four of those in that case. No, nope, I'm missing two. So that basically means I can craft two. Mm -hmm. I hope. Plus. No, I'm still missing one. All right, okay. I'll make some more Fluix dust. Um, and I think the best way, probably best to have a recipe for this actually, because Fluix dust, there's two ways to make it. We can make crystals like this and grind these up. Or we can do it, I think, through pure dust, can't we? Let's have a look. Because we can manufacture pure crystals like this. And let's have a look for the recipe for the uses of these. So one of the uses of those is to make that. And we can make this one. So if we look for the recipe for this, if I can look for the recipe for fluid dust, there must be other ways of doing it. Ah oh, yeah, macerating, pulverizing, sag milling, and mine chemming. So we could do this recipe, probably be easiest, because I think we've got everything in here. And we can craft aluminium phosphate as well, because I got a recipe for that. So let's try that one. So I need another journal. I think I had a sort of journal actually. But not in there. And not oh I know where they are. And I think the easiest way to do this is to grind at one of these crystals and use that in the recipe book. So let's just take this pulverizer here, put one of those in there, and we should get one dust coming out in here like that. If we then take this dust and then we can put it into the microscope. So I got a ball, slime balls, and that must be one of my recipes. Actually, I could leave that in there. I think that's my general purpose book anyway. And we'll put this one in here, which has got empty. Let's just check that. Yep, that's the one. We want to select this one. And the other one is indeed the general purpose one. We'll put that in, the, in there. Oh, in fact, I could take that flux just with me, couldn't I? So now what we need is, uh, I could make a pattern, probably should make a pattern actually. So let's have a look what we've got in here. So we have got some aluminium phosphate. Let's craft two of those. I think we needed two of those. And then we've got hyper aluminium hyperphosphate here, plenty of that. Um, we've got two of those, and we need gallium arsenide, wasn't it? We only need one of these, if I remember rightly. We've got plenty, so it's just that's working up very nicely, in fact. So I'll just double check this recipe for this one. 
Uh, I'm probably better using the book, couldn't I? Open up the book. So it's two aluminium hypophosphate. Okay, good. So we can create, oh, we need a patent. We've got no patent, let's craft one of those. And as soon as we've got one pattern, we'll put it in the book here. Shouldn't take too long, he says. I'm expecting to get it. Anyway, I can do it this way. And even before so we need two of those, like that, I think. But the order of these doesn't matter. It's just to basically make sure I under I get the I get the recipe. And we want a processing recipe like that. And now we got our first one. Good. So we can now create a processing recipe for this. So we've got that and we've got the book. Should be good. Let's go and test it out. I have got some spare machines down here. And one of them I'm going to change. I don't like this one. Because this one's producing dust. So I'm going to remove that. And I'm also going to remove the pattern in here. Because you can't do anything with it really. But we've got these two, two synthesizers here doing not very much at the moment. So let's put this pattern into here now, and let's put the book into here. Flux dust, that's the one we want. And then we can basically we want an import bus on the top of this. We don't have any free at the moment, because we've got to go make some. But let's say we can make some of these. Um, what should we go and do? Should we make 10 or something like that? Let's go over here. Because at the end of this row I should have that crafting. I can't get through. Oh yes, the crafting table's here. So, I want to craft dust, don't I? Got one of those. Let's craft 20. Put those back. Of course it's not going to do anything until we actually set up the, the import bus on the bottom of it. But this will help. I think that's into this one here. So we do have enough materials now for 20, I think. Well, when it gets to 20, we'll have enough materials. There we go. So we now should get... Ah, oh, they use a lot of power, don't they? Okay, and it doesn't matter. We can simply go upstairs and craft our import and export nodes are needed. We'll definitely need an import node to start with. Let's make one of those. That's an export node. Let's craft two of these. Start that. I think that's going to take a few seconds. Let's put those away and those. Now, the, well, actually, with these, you can do stuff like this. If you haven't seen this before, you can actually make a block, uh, which I've got some blocks there. And those blocks, you can then use them like that to make... Uh, crystals. Basically that's what you can do. And those crystals of course you can then grind. So that was another way of doing this by the way. Right, so where are we up to? We're waiting for these. Alright, we've got our two import buses. Good. So we'll ask now. We can't do that yet. We wanted six. Did I say I wanted eight? We'll make ten. Okay, good. We can get those going as well. And come downstairs and we'll put those into the input bus here and then that will put everything make everything work nicely so sure enough that's making these and then that calculation or that pro um Crafting will finish automatically. And next time we want some Fluix dust, we get some Fluix dust. We got 15 and I think I used 5, maybe something like that. So that looks, that looks good anyway. Right, so now we've got our 10 export buses here. So we are going to sort out lead, wasn't I? So what I've got to do is I'm going to make sure we've got a cache. So let's make a cache in here if I haven't got one already. Just a normal cache. 
want no tin ingots. Oh, we should be able to craft some tin tin ingots. Let's craft twelve. You can see these numbers changing here. <laughs> so we have a basic cache, and I'm going to put lead into this cache. And the way I'm going to do it is the way I've done it with on my testing here is what I did with iron. Basically, what I wanted to do is to always have a stock of something. Let's doesn't matter which one I use, I can use this one, the space here like that. Take that out, we'll put that at the end here somewhere. Oh, I think that was the wrong one. Like that. Yeah, of course it's going to get something, it gets something straight away. I should have locked it up and put some um, lead in there. So let's get a Let's get some lead out. So what I've got here is an export bus, yes? So let's put the export bus down here and then join it up. We'll link it in. Oops, missed. Try again. <laughs> like that may be better. Oh, actually, yes, of course. That was what I was telling you to do. I was just intending to put it down like that. I think joins in nicely then. So we need to get rid of this. Um, Tell you what we'll do, we'll just take off this storage bus for the time being and then just take everything out of there. And then we want some lead, don't we? So lead I think is probably around about four. That's iron, lead. Good. Take a stack of lead and that will build up again. So I just need to put the lead into here. And then I lock it. Then we can put the storage bus back onto here. And we can set the priority to being one. I think was the priority. So now what will happen, we'll take one lead out. If we haven't got a lead in here yet, so we need to put one lead in here. So at the moment there's 63 in there, 64. Now I put one in and it's starting to go up. It's going to get fairly slowly. We can speed that up, no problem. Oh, what happened there? So I speed this up with a speed upgrade. I'll do, I won't keep the speed upgrades in here, I'll just because that will soon fill up, I think. Yeah, it's going at about 16 at a time, so that's good. Oops, press the I and that was me this last time. So what we should see is we should see the lead one here, I think this is lead, starting to work. And it's taking items out and it's basically and it's taking items out from the storage bus here, I think. Yes. So it's taking items out of here because they've got lower priority. And now it's starting to work at sort of higher speed. So this should be filling up at a higher speed. 750, good. So what we can do now is we can go upstairs and check out what's happening with lead. So what I was trying to do, I was trying to make a tungsten plating, wasn't I? crafting that and I was short of lead so let's try again see I'm still short of lead but this says it's, a, it's now got available 570 I'm missing 1870 that's a bit strange actually because it was more than that last time wasn't it is that the only one that is a problem at the moment yes let's just check that again Oh, the missing's going up. That's strange. Hold on a second. 
And that I didn't expect it to happen. So what am I done wrong? So this is lead, it's got 3,000 in there. That's an ME interface. <laughs> well, that's not going to work, is it? They're actually quite similar. So now we put this one down there. Try again. I should take the speed upgrade out of there. We haven't got that many speed upgrades, so. It's now got 3,500. You probably spotted that because I didn't spot it. So let's try that again now. So everything looks good and we can start this processing. So it does actually need 1440. So that's my idea now to get these to work. It'll take some time because the crafting is going to be co it's quite complicated. There's, there's actually three processes all running on, along. And what I did is move one of the ones from downstairs to here. So it, it's always available. And as you can see, it's working nicely now. And it's not blocking. So it says it's about 30 seconds to go. We'll just wait for that. So in the meantime, what I was also doing is I wanted to craft some plates didn't I? I wanted to craft let's look at the plates I wanted to craft 128 dense plates and I couldn't but I can now do that see this got available 9420 and it's using 628 carbon so the carbon isn't, isn't going to be a problem because it's the use of this is, is high and we've actually got available 524 so it's got to craft 628 so maybe this store isn't big enough to make 64 of those and I also want to craft 60, 128 of these but we can do that no problem so that's going to take a while I'm going to check that the um, this machine here is the metal form it is in rolling mode it is and you see with a nine with a nine uh, overclockers in there it works really fast. In fact I probably have to make some more of those overclockers. In fact what we could also do is a pretty promising to do this. Let's remove these chemicals in here, don't need those. I was also prepared some floodlights as well. Because I was going to tidy up below, make sure it's got if it runs out of power it's still got lighting and to make it a bit smoother oh yes there was another thing I did you see now I've got the Venus cobblestone is coming in here so I went to Venus and I fixed that and downstairs here I think at the end of this row yes I have I've got a trash can and this has got an export bus on it and the export bus is exporting the three Venus rocks here so what we should now be getting is plenty of um, sulphur. So we check that. The last one, last time I looked at it, we had quite a bit of coal. So let's have a look what we've got for Venus in here. You see, this will jump around a bit. So we've actually got some ruby ore. I'm not sure we ever need any of that, and quite a lot of sulphur in here. So let's see if we can get the sulphur out. Yeah, I've got a stack of sulphur. So let's then try and process this. I think all we need to do is decompose it. And that should give us quite a few sulphurs. Take this recipe off of steel. And I think it's 16, isn't it? Not there. I'm just guessing. Ha! Huh. Let's look for the uses of this. Well, there was a game crash. That doesn't happen very often. Let's see if it's I was going to look for the uses of this, wasn't I? And it crashed. Let's try that again. Okay, this time it didn't crash. 
So we want to basically make sulfur synthesizers. That's what we want. Here we go, 16 bottom or 16. I think we probably want bottom left then. We can actually even make enderium ingots this way. Now that is good. Because that's pretty good recipe actually because that's not too difficult iron oxide calcium carbonate which is just decomposed ender pearls sulfur carbon and plutonium plutonium comes from blaze rods well yeah simple as that all right we shall have to set this up because this is a really nice easy recipe i think it should be that way unless of course that one's been changed maybe i need to do an mt renote load let's click that off there Yeah, that's funny. Oops, what happened then? Let's just shift that out. Because we should end up with three stacks of sulfur, if I'm not mistaken. We get some in here, of course. And we get a reasonably generous, generous amount from these there so that's quite a good way of getting sulfur if I can use it like this it's probably better than having to do it the other way so we'll actually set up an enderium ingot I'm sure that's interesting actually let's go and do that have I got an enderium ingot in here no, but I can craft one, possibly. So what are we short of? Pulverised coal. Okay, no big deal. We can do some pulverised coal. Let's look for coal. I wonder. We've got all this coal coming from Venus. And there's actually a reasonable amount. I wonder if we can do the same thing with this. I'm not sure if we can, to be honest with you, whether we can actually use the carbon in here. Let's just try it. Decompose that. No, nope, went straight out. So it didn't go into the slot. It's have to be in here. Let's have a look for the uses of that. So we can grind it. Macerate it. We get three in the sag mill, which is good. And the chance of a diamond, which is a lot better. So basically it looks like it's a sag mill job, this one. Okay, good. And anyway, we should have got by now the rest of these. Three stacks, sixty-four. So one stack of sulfur gives three stacks of one stack of sulfur ore gives three stacks of sulfur. Okay, so we just basically need some coal and we pulverize that. Oh I shall do it from here, won't I? Let's take this. And we'll put this in this the one with the maximum secondary items in here, which is this one. This one's a bit slow, but it doesn't matter that much. Because what we want is the coal dust coming out of here. We've got one already. We only need five, I think. And we stand a good chance of getting diamonds too, which is great. That will take, we'll speed it up, but we'll take these 18. And we'll put them through here. Of course, we have to get rid of the existing stuff. I'm going to wait for this to go back and then shift this in. That's good. So now we've got some more sulfur from that, which is great. Put that away. And that on the sand. We don't need those anymore. Take this with us. We'll put those into the system. Probably here's a good place. So just let's make this enderium ingot. I should be able to do that now. I probably need to... I have an idea. I've got a storage cell, in, a view cell in here. Because uh, what I was doing with the view cell is you put it in here like that, you can just basically see what you've got in the system. So basically what these are are all the items that we need for um, those tungsten plating blocks so I wanted to be able to see that was one of my ideas to see if we could fix it 
So what we want now is um, V. What do we want to make? Enderium, don't we? So I should be able to craft one of these. And that'll take a few seconds. I'm just wondering how that's actually going to work. But there we are. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, this is stuck on crafting that one. That shouldn't be stuck. Ah, of course, I got the game crash. And this has deselected itself. And you see, here we've got the Enderium ingots in here as well. Select that. So we've got those two. So now I've got this Enderium ingot. I can actually put this into the microscope. Do you know, I didn't think about doing this before. I wonder if I can catch it. Good, I did. So that's that recipe. That's pulverized ferrous metal. We can actually reuse this book because it's actually very little use for anything else. I was thinking about replacing that recipe for, um, you see, you can synthesize it. What actually happens here? What's the difference? You basically get everything back except for the redstone component and the glowstone and the sit and the cut. Okay. So that looks strangely good. So let's see if we can actually do that because that would be great. But I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to do that next time because we're going to need a ton of enderium. So until next time, I hope you enjoyed this episode. At least I figured out one big problem I was having that was causing slight chaos in my mind anyway. And that's really good. So until next time, bye for now.